Hey everyone and welcome to Almost Cancelled. I'm Peter, that is Connor and we are going to talk about 1983 which is the new Netflix original series from Poland and it is an alternate history series uh, set in 2003, 20 years after the titular 1983 where some terrorist bombings in Poland altered history a little bit. Uh, I mean at least from our perspective to the characters in the show, history is just history. the way it's been. Yeah. yeah. Well at least for now. There could there could be shenanigans later where they find out something changed. I'm not going to mm-hmm. dispute that. Or yeah. Anyway, so that's what we're going to talk about. We'll start spoiler free because it is an episode one, uh, and we'll warn you in the middle before we go into spoilers. Uh, so like I said, this is a Netflix original Polish series. Um, I every time I start a new foreign show on Netflix, it defaults me to the English dub, and I'm so used to it now that the first thing I do is I pause it at the one second mark and go to the settings and check what it's on. And I'm like, no, no, I don't want English 5.1. I want Polish original 5.1. Thank you. Do you know what? I remember when Netflix used to do that, but it hasn't done that to me in a while. Like, it didn't do it to me this time. And now that I think about it, I feel like it's been a while since it's actually done that. And I just didn't notice that it had stopped doing it. Every time I st- It's not even just a new show. Every time I start a new season of a four, because they did it with 3% season two with me as well. Yeah. Um. I don't know why, but it's it's kind of weird how those differences though, because I got episode previously on at the start of every Sabrina, and you didn't. I never got them. Yeah. And I'm sure you could access them if you went looking for them, but like for some reason I auto got them and you yeah, didn't. Yeah. Netflix algorithms decided I didn't need them, for, but you did, even though we were watching them roughly the same time apart. Our Netflix viewing habits are very similar because we're you know we do the reviews. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. that, so the, the the spacing between each episode is identical. Yeah. So I'm not sure what in the algorithm between me and you is telling Netflix that I should have recaps and you shouldn't. But regardless. Yeah. Anyway, so we're talking about 1983, and it is a k- kind of thriller. I don't. It's not quite a spy thing. I I, I think that's it feels a bit off no, to call it a spy thing. No, it's more detective than spy. Yeah, detective uh, with hints of like rebellion and, and that kind of things like those um but it, it reminds me more of like a, a a story set in like a like nazi germany where you know there's a secret police and all that and like everyone's having to you know toe the line. Yeah. yeah um so that, that's kind of what it feels like um and obviously there's characters who aren't very happy with it and who want to change it some more extreme than others you know we've got three main characters we've got a disgruntled you know upper middle aged cop who's questioned things a bit in the past and been slapped in the wrist for it, and he's still kind of questioning things. We have a, a young student who's just graduated university who is eager to take on the world but doesn't realise that he's maybe asking too many questions, and we have our extreme rebellious character, um, who's Ophelia. The cop's uh, Anatole, and the student is Kayatan. So that is uh, our three main characters. Uh, and they are pretty separate in the episode for the most part um, yeah. so far. Uh, although I assume that as time goes on, they'll end up interacting in some capacity, but uh, that's the the basic setup. And there's there's a murder at the start. Uh, the detective's called into a, a crime scene, and it's kind of the, the 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 discovery of this body and why he was killed or committed suicide that kind of drives the plot in this first one. At least as far as his plot and one of our plots goes. Um, meanwhile, um, Ophelia is is setting up a plan. She, they've, they've, you know, her and her militant group have got a. I guess it's an assassination. Uh, yeah, yeah. In the works, yeah. They're, they're, they're building up to a plan. They're, they're, they're making scheme. preps, preparations, and they're they're doing things. Um, so that that's the basic gist of the show so far, and I'm sure I'm sure it will get more in depth as we go. And um, pr- probably the most important thing that happens in the episode in terms of the premise of the show is at one point we find out that uh, Kayatan, the student who's you know presumably just over twenty, you know maybe twenty two or twenty three, something like that, because he's just finished university. We find out that his parents were killed in the terrorist attack in 1983. And I thought the most interesting thing in the episode, just, just to kind of set up maybe what the themes of this show are going to be, is he when he's debating with his professor about, you know, does he want vengeance? Does he want to know who, who, who killed his parents? He says, I don't really care who killed my parents. I care about why they were killed. Mm. And, he, and he theorizes, like, is, is, is the country we're living in now, is this, you know, I, I, the hard iron curtain, you know, in the soviet wall like is this what they intended is this what the, the effect they wanted was or did it go the the, the the opposite way from what they intended yeah i thought that was an interesting question and I, I think that's maybe what it's setting up and i feel like we're going to explore maybe what the intentions are behind those original t- i'm expecting flashbacks as we go 
honestly. There's not a lot in this one, but I'm expecting proper flashbacks to whoever, you know, carried out these bombings, why they carried them out. There's a little tease at the start and a flashback of, like, just it's setting up that they happened, but there's no nothing else. There's not much, no. Yeah. Um, so, but that's the that's, that's as much as I'll say. Spoiler free. Uh, so, Car, did you enjoy episode one of nineteen eighty three? Not as much as I wanted to. I <laughs> found myself bored for long stretches. There were points where I was, you know, really interested. You know that that conversation you just mentioned there yeah. about you know why. Like, okay, that was I, I perked up there. A couple of other points, but. I found myself going long chunks of time, just kind of really getting bored and like having to refocus and going like, no, 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 pay attention. It is a full hour, this show. Um, and maybe the argument here is just, just based on what you've just said is maybe it should have been cut by about 10 minutes, just tighten up a little bit and, uh, make it more yeah, punchy. Maybe. But, um, and it is, it's, it's got a lot of dialogue. It's got a lot of very quick dialogue. In fact, there's a, there's a news broadcast at the start that does a lot of exposition about the state of the world and it, it was they were speaking so fast that reading the subtitles now admittedly yeah. if, you're, if you're if you speak polish you'll probably be fine during this scene but for everyone else reading the subtitles in this scene it was like whoa okay slow down you're yeah. hitting me with a lot of details here very quickly a lot of details um uh no i, I thought it was promising that like i said i like that scene with the the student and there's a couple of other key moments and scenes that i really liked um i did think it, do you know what I was kind of waiting for that it didn't quite have in this first episode, though? It didn't have... I thought the ending was going to be the hook. I thought at the yeah, end... That, that it wasn't much of a hook, was there? No, I, I I thought it was like... It felt like one of those shows. Like I, I was thinking of Travelers. I was thinking of The Shield. I was thinking of lots of shows where... Okay, you're kind of getting the premise of the gist of it throughout the episode, but the the, the real like premise of what the, the episode to episode is going to be is not revealed until the final scene. And I was kind of getting that vibe from this, and then it didn't happen. <laughs> it was yeah. just like, no, we'll just end here. It's fine. It's true. Uh, uh, if you're familiar with the comics writer, Kieran Gillen, he does a, a newsletter like, every week. Mm. And a few few weeks ago, maybe a couple of months now, he, he wrote, because uh, he, he, he's, he's he has a journalist background, so he writes all these essays and stuff in his newsletters. And he wrote one about the idea of uh, a first issue in comics, which applies to the first episode of TV as well. The idea that you have you have to have two things. The thing A that is just the premise of the show that you know gets you to watch it in the first place. So here it's you know the 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 bombing the you know the alternate history right. Yeah. And then you really need to have a thing B at the end of that that you don't know going in to kind of okay here's why you stick around here's what you what you you're, what you're actually here for. And I don't think this has that. It it doesn't. It, I I guess they're they're banking on the fact that they're a binge show that it doesn't matter. Yeah, and, maybe. And I don't necessarily agree with that. I I think especially with a binge show, the idea that okay, sure, Connor might be too lazy to go up and stop it from autoplay in episode two, but <laughs> many many of us. Um, hey, I I have autoplay turned off, so I have to choose to go into episode two. Well, you, no, you do because I told you to turn it off after a long time. <laughs> That's true because I kept falling asleep with like and going through a hundred episodes. <laughs> and I informed Connor there was a setting in the menu to turn that off. It was very like, helpful. He's like, oh, laugh. oh, nice. Um, because I think there's, some, there's a lot of promising elements in here, but it was missing that hook. I, I really thought it was going to tie in uh, Ophelia's plot. Or I'll, I'll call her Effie. They'll call her Effie for short. Uh, I thought it was going to tie in Effie's plot to everyone else by the end. Like I thought that was going to be the final moment. Is how it ties in with everything else. Yeah, it just. It, it doesn't really come together, does it? It doesn't have an ending. It, 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 it feels like, like it just kind of ends. Yeah, it does. It's like, well, it, it kind of goes. Well, I guess we hit the hour. Uh, that'll do. Yeah, which I mean, it may be the thing where you watch the whole thing and 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 in hindsight, it's like, okay, yeah, that was a problem and getting me hooked in the rest of it. But do, do you know, what, like, just for comparison's sake, you know, we're talking about how yeah. okay, it's a binge show. It's all there. Maybe as a whole, it doesn't matter. But we just watch Homecoming on on Amazon. Yes. And as a whole, you absolutely, you know, we, we even at the end, we, we did them episode by episode, but we recommended doing it in two or three sittings tops because that is yeah. the, the best way to view it. But every episode had such a fantastic, distinct ending. And it, it still managed yeah. to function. Homecoming is such a weird example because it did a bad job of feeling like it should have been episodic, but did a really good job of having these endings. I, I feel like a better comparison to be... You know, we we watched um, you know Sabrina recently on Netflix, mm. and 
that was definitely individual episodes of a TV show yes. all the way through. They Absolutely. felt like chapters with beginnings, middles, and ends. And you know, episode one did have kind of a hook because it was building up to you know, will she sign this book? And I said, like, no, I'm not. This is a statement of the show. Um, you know, and sometimes that, 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 that one's a bit more straightforward than others. Sometimes it is like a, the shield was this big twist at the end of the episode that makes you go, wait, what? That's the premise of this show? And you're mm-hmm. like, whoa. Um, to the point where it's hard to talk about that show without spoiling that ending of that episode because. If I'm talking about the whole show of seven seasons, it's like, well... <laughs> that's kind of the premise you got to go in with, right? Yeah, no, I, I can't that, even mention how episode one ends to, to really sell you on the praises of it. but um, so, so it's missing that. I think it is missing that. And I would agree there are downbeat sections of this where it does drag a little bit. Um, yeah. I would agree with that. I, but, I, I found myself checking the time, thinking, okay, I must be nearly done. And I was only like 35 minutes in. Which isn't great. That's no, not great. Like, oh boy, that's not great. Um, th- there was there's a scene that I really liked actually with uh, the, the detective again, um, Anatol uh, Yanov. He he investigating this suicide. He wants to look at the, the guy's records, and they're not in the police system. So he goes to he goes to the the head. The the government. Yeah, it's, it's like the government security force something. Yeah, all, all the titles of all the departments are all different from what we're used to. So I'm just I can't remember what they are. Because the government is just the party. Yes, yeah, just because there's, yeah, obviously there's no no opposition. Yeah, exactly. It's just yeah. that's if anything why they called the party just the stick with their name. Yeah, the, what they had for just, just government. They, they are just yeah. government. Um, yeah, but he goes to the the you know the head office and he asks the the woman there who's working there to look this up and she's like, oh, you don't have clearance for this file. And he's like, wait, well, yeah, but I'm clear. I'm level four. That's right below national security. You know, presumably the highest you can go before you're actually in like a their equivalent of their their CIA or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, government positions. Yeah, and she says, no, this is level one. And he's like, level one. That's that's a, a minister. ministerial level. There you go, ministerial level. And she gets really nervous. Like she just said something she wasn't supposed to. And he kind of leans in and says, "Hey, look, I never heard anything. But can you just tell me this?" Uh, but she is so like how terrified she got for like a few seconds there, just for looking at a screen. Yeah, like she's not supposed to be, or she's at least not supposed to be telling him what level this is or or whatever. You know, it's when when he said that it was when he said that specific word that she kind of froze and she went terrified. And I thought, oh, this is interesting De- dealing and the idea that he because he's not like an extremist like Effie is at least not yet. Maybe he'll get that way as the show goes on. But he's clearly someone who's not necessarily a fan of the system or of the world that he's living in. No, we get points where he, he speaks about how he was outspoken. He questioned things. But right now, he's kind of been slapped down and he's kind of just going through the motions. Yeah, he's got no faith in the law. He feels like a security guard for a company because it's just whatever they want. It's not about what actual yeah. justice is, what actual right. And that ties into the, the shouldn't, you know, Kyoton's uh, uh, themes where he... He's, uh, you know, he thinks he's passing with. He does pass with flying colours, but he, he, he's asked some weird questions about the difference between justice and truth. And to him, he's like, no, but the state always tells us this, and the state is truth and justice. He's basically been fed propaganda since he was a kid, basically. Pretty much. <laughs> and he's been asked to maybe question things, and his uh, professor sends him on a bit of a, a goose chase for an old case that he. I, I think his professor was a was a judge. I think that was, was a judge. A, yes, because he's a law student. Yeah. Um, and this is a, this is a case that Anatole was involved in as well, like five years ago, and it seems to tie into maybe the past, maybe the bombings. We don't know yet, but there's certainly some mystery yeah. down the rabbit hole to to get here. Um, so they they kind of interlink, uh, but eventually during the episode, um, and that that's kind of that kind of that. But yeah, so but so we get we get we get a sort of decent introduction to his character more than any, I think. Uh. The detective. I feel like I feel like I understand him and his faults best, and to yeah. an extent, uh, Kyoton as well. I feel like because he is this idealistic kid who's maybe just about to 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 use this term the kids use, get woke. You know, yeah, alternate Effie... history Poland two thousand three style. <laughs> yeah, Effie's a little more hard to put your finger on. Like I, I get... right now, yeah, I, I I understand what she's doing. I have no idea really why other than just the obvious which I, I think that's intentional i think her motivations are meant to be something will you know it'll be a big deal when we find that out yeah probably relatively early on i think i don't think it's gonna be something that'll be held too long but i, I think it's a case of 
when they want to de- delve in and okay why does she feel this strongly where does she come from who did she know why why is she feeling this way um yeah. because right now it is that they're engaging in what is you know at one point a character even refers to it as uh jihad tactics yes um so so right now it's like okay but you're you're going to be terrorists like this is hard to necessarily get on your side but i feel like there's going to be more to her and her group and to what their actual goals are what was going on yeah because right now that. we just okay we, we we we're used to these sort of stories we go okay government's probably awful mm-hmm. these are the the resistance fighters we should in theory be on their side because that's how these things work but then it's like i mean you're openly admitting that you're going to be terrorists essentially yeah so we so have you've got to really give me a reason to root for you yeah we don't have that yet i, I i'm honestly doubtful we'll get it though it's just a case of right now we don't have it yeah um by the way, I just, halfway through, I was expecting uh, the two guys from Comrade Detective to show up and start <laughs> going on about the propaganda. I'm not going to lie, that would have improved this a lot. <laughs> that would have been way more in fun. Would they have been dubbed? Would they have been dubbed even though everyone else is in Polish? <laughs> now, before hey, anyone corrects me, that show was not set in Poland, that is true, but it was in Eastern Europe and it was Soviet Union. Yeah, it's all the same. It's, you know, I'm going to say that, that that'll, hurt, that'll hurt some people's feelings. <laughs> it will it will but yeah so anyway so so interesting thing though one of the things that's different here is uh technology is actually a bit more advanced than it was in 2003 yeah and it's yeah. just one key thing everything else is just kind of whatever right it's fine and uh yeah uh, uh, kayatin sorry has got a, got a girlfriend who gives him a, a present for graduating um Although you presume she's graduating at the same, unless she's in a different year, which fair enough. But um, she, yeah, I mean, she, there's no guarantee she's even at university. She, oh, she was in the uniform her. at the start. Oh, she was, wasn't she? She was in the uniform with the same uniform he was wearing, so it's I true. assumed they were. Unless that's just <laughs> something all young people have to wear, which fair enough. It, it could be given yeah. this state. I'll, I'll take your word for it if that's the case. But yeah, I assume she was also at school. We just I don't I don't recall ever hearing about her studies of any kind. You know anything. Yeah, it could, it could just be she's studying a completely different thing. She could be in, yeah. you know, same campus, but over yeah, doing yeah, literature or something. I don't know. Um, but I don't, This place doesn't allow you to study literature. <laughs> oh, more on literature later. we got some books to mention. Oh, we do. Uh, but he pulls out like a... If, and I'm like, because he see it at the back first, and I'm like, what the hell is this? And he turns it around, I'm like, is that a smartphone? It looks like a smartphone. It's a real smartphone. It's like fingerprint scan a smartphone. Yeah, but do you know what I liked about it though is I liked that they made it look chunkier than the actual smartphones are. Yeah, it, it looked a bit more kind of like the prototype Bricky. to the iPod that may have existed in two thousand three might have looked like this. Yeah, um, and I'm like, yeah, so maybe they're saying, oh yeah, it's because the Soviet Union stayed in power, their technology actually got better quicker. <laughs> but only about five years. That's the thing. So you know. Yeah. Well, I mean. Maybe a little bit more, because if they've got fingerprint stuff on that... You know, okay, maybe, sure, okay. It's longer if you cut the maybe, fingerprint. Maybe a decade. I, I'm just thinking smartphones in general. Smartphones in general, yeah. Yeah. But I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. Maybe that's something we can go down, a path we can explore. I don't know. Um, but I was curious. So, and, and there's some other teases about the past and stuff, which we'll, we'll keep to spoilers, yeah. but... Um, yeah. There was some good camera work here earlier, I thought. I thought the opening scene had a, a good couple of shots i so. thought it was a uh, hit and miss there were points where i was like yeah this is really impressive stuff like oh not necessarily impressive just really yeah. really strong i think is, is maybe the word yeah i feel like anytime someone was walking around and there was a the prospect of danger it tended to be handled quite well yeah but i thought most of the conversations were really just standard tv direction which yeah. isn't necessarily bad but they stood out against the superior direction of the of the the other stuff yeah, shot, reverse shot, master. Yeah. Shot, reverse like, okay. shot, master. And, yeah. and, you know, you say, oh, yeah, what do you want? But, I mean, watch Better Call Saul. Like, half of that show is just people talking, and it's shot phenomenally. Yeah, no, that's, that's that's fair. Um, well, I, I guess before we go into spoilers, though, we should ask the, the serious question here is, do you want to watch more? Are you, are you interested in seeing episode two? I don't hate it enough to say no. <laughs> what, a not, glowing, like, what a glowing well, review. I'm not like really excited going, oh yeah, let's watch episode two. If if we were busy right now, I'd be like, no, I'm not bothering. Okay. 
<laughs> but, I mean, we're quiet. You seem to like it a bit more than I did. I, I mean, like it a bit more. I, I'm not, like, you know... Yeah. You know, hyped about it. it. Like, I think there's some potential here. There could be. There could be. My, my, mm. my hope... My hope is that uh, maybe it's kind of like sometimes we'll, we'll feel that the first two are essentially one double pilot. My, yeah. My hope is that by the end of episode two, it'll define what it is a little bit more. No, that's fair. Because, I mean, this is only eight episodes, so by the end of episode two, we're a quarter through. We are, yeah. It's eight episodes, just right, yeah. Um. So, 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 so theoretically, end of episode two, maybe end of episode three, a push should be the end of act one of the whole thing. Which I think is, I mean, it's going to have to change its pacing a little if for that case, because I think based on how much happens in this episode, um, I think it would have to quicken a little bit to get to an end of an act within an episode or two. Yeah, well, I can't have it. I mean, <laughs> if, it's yeah. a th- if we're going with a three-act structure, then... Yeah, it kind of has to. No, I agree, yeah. but... Uh, unless uh, it's just going to be gimped and it won't have a, an act three because come back for season two <laughs> hey we've seen it before <laughs> we have seen it before it's entirely <laughs> possible uh but hey so that that is that is the spoiler free uh so so we're doing episode two is that what we're saying we're doing episode two yeah we'll we'll do two and see how how that ends and you know if it defines itself a bit more that's fair um, uh, i will say before we just move on to spoilers there was some really nice synth music playing at points yeah it wasn't consistent, but every so often there was like, okay, it, which kind of really sums up this show. It's like, it's not consistent, but every so often there's moments of really good, solid, strong, like, you know, like the, the certain bits of direction, certain mm. conversations, certain bits of music. It's like, it's uh, it's not all there, but there are moments that I can really see it being great. Yeah. Uh, so we'll move on to spoilers then for episode one of 1983. Uh, you have been warned. Uh, so... Uh, Kyatin from his professor who gets murdered who gets run down uh, later that night he gets a, a box of old evidence from this case where he clearly the, the professor clearly believes that the, the well he believes that the person well, I don't know if he believed it because the fact that he's asking him to look into it implies that he maybe doesn't believe this but at the time he believed that this was the person they were convicting uh, was the right person, but uh, Anatole, he was a detective on the case, did not believe that he was the the culprit. Yeah, I don't know if it's as much that the the judge believed that he was the 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 right, you know, the 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 culprit, but more just that he believed it was the right thing to do. He just went more. more he just believed that he should just go along with it because mm. that's what they do. Yeah, so he's lo- he's looking into it, um, and he, he realizes that there's a. The, the, the professor knew one of the victims of this, this crime, this, this killer who killed the whole family, because uh, he sees the woman in the same photo. He, he also gets an old photo of the professor when he was younger, yeah. back before the bombings, um, which is why I'm thinking this will somehow tie into maybe the backstory of how the bombings happened, that this mm. is related to that in some way, it would be my Could guess. Do, yeah. um, so he goes to Anatole eventually, he actually goes to the, the police precinct, and it's the, the chief inspector who seemingly sets up Anatole because the, the the men in black masks come with the van. Um, yeah. And that, that's kind of how the story yeah. ends. Yeah, and I mean, as soon as she, she gives him a piece of her, goes, all right, go there, I'll make sure he's there to meet you. Yeah. And then as soon as he leaves the room, she's on the phone. I'm like, right, come on. Yeah, she's she's sitting up, she's turning them in. Because uh, in the first scene with her, it seemed like she agreed with them, but she's just willing, she's not willing to break the company line, as it were. But here, she's clearly a bit more... A believer. Yeah, a bit more of a believer. Uh, whereas Anatole's investigating this crime, and it's actually uh, Effie's boyfriend who who seemingly was who seemingly committed suicide at the start. Although there's questions, you know, naturally there's like, did he really commit suicide? Yeah, which I mean, I appreciate that's how they because you know one of them's just like, oh, it's suicide, whatever, and and the other one's like, well, hang on a second. Yeah, uh, he we made this part of something bigger. He's a graphic artist. He's a lot of drawings, and he's done a lot of drawings of Effie. And uh, we see those before we see her, so it's kind of like a. It's yeah. an okay transition into meeting her for the first time. Um, and we realise that that's what he, the world that he was a part of. So his death feels like it introduces that part of the world without his having to meet a character that's not going to be important in and of yeah. themselves, if that makes sense. And he he's looking to, like I say, he tracks down the parents. Um, the parents at one point say something like, oh, can you help us out with the the SB, which is like the, you know, the police force who come and deal with yeah. anyone who's like, you know, 
any kind of resurgence or anything like that, um, or insurgence rather. And he he's like, nah, <laughs> not even God can help you with that. And he just leaves. So as much as he doesn't like the way the system is, he's very kind of cold about it. <laughs> he's very jaded, isn't he? Yeah, he's a very jaded man. And he's, he's looking at different things. It's not going very well. Um, and then meanwhile, Effie's setting up this plan to assassinate... Um, one of them was uh, Troyan. Uh, Troyan. Yeah. He He's like a high-up general, and there's another guy that would try to kill... But Troyan never went, and it seemed like he never went because he spoke to the father of Kayatin's girlfriend, who seems yes. to be fairly high ranking in of himself. Um, uh, he is a. Vladislav. Vladislav. There you go. <laughs> Vladislav. I'm getting used to these names, people. They'll, they'll take me a while. Vladislav. Because um, we, we meet, you know, Kayatin's got this girlfriend, and they're, they're very happy together, and he goes to have dinner with them. And he's bringing up some of the professor's, like, questions to him. And he, this, this guy is very, you know, down the line believer, right? This guy yep. is hard hitting. He, he's clearly, like, worried that this youth has been corrupted by this professor. Oh, I'll have to talk to him sometime for putting these fishy ideas into your head. Yeah. And then he suspiciously turns up dead. Yes. Uh, yeah, you're right. And but so we see him turn away uh this this Trojan before before yeah. they were supposed to go in this plane and he doesn't go. Um and then we see uh Vodzlov mysteriously go somewhere, some random location to meet with a mysterious person, an English person, and they speak in English in these scenes, and he certainly seems to have some sort of involvement in the attacks in nineteen eighty three. Oh, definitely. The way they speak about this, um, yeah. and the English guy is like, "No, oh, no, you, what you need to be worried about is a, a country full of sheep, you know, led by a, by a lion rather than the other way around," and says you need to take control of the country. You have to blah blah blah. Um, it's all very vague. There's not there's not a lot of specific. It's all kind of you need a lion. Be scared of that. Yeah, uh, you need to sort of rise up and do this and take control. Blah blah blah. Um, which is all fine. It's a bit vague because because the end of the episode kind of cuts around a lot between. The attempted assassination, which they, they send basically a suicide, not a bomber, but suicide gasser. He's, he's got like gas that's going to kill everyone on the plane, and including himself. Yeah. Someone who's infiltrated high enough that he's kind of the assistant to one of the generals. Um, so they're doing that. We have the meeting between Kayatin and Anatol in the restaurant, which then the, the guys in the van show up, and we have this meeting with this English guy. And this is all going on at the same time, and it's kind of cutting around, and it's kind of ramping up as if we're getting to the end of the episode and things are getting tense and high stakes. And that, that's kind of where it falls down a little bit for me, because it didn't really feel like it was actually that high stakes. Like The, the conversation with the English dude felt very vague. The, the assassination attempt felt very underwhelming. <laughs> and then the ending with uh, Anatol just being taken by the guys in the van also just kind of felt like, okay... Yeah, I, I think it, it it was trying to do too much at once and they all suffered for it. Because mm. like, none of them like felt like, it's like, oh, look at all these things happening at once. It's all kicking off. And I think it's, if it just focused on one of these things and made a point out of them. Maybe it would have could, landed better. I could see, yeah, I could see devoting an episode to each one of these plots and really delving into that character. Arguably, two of them should be in the same episode, or you just, or you, or maybe you just, you do, you do Anatole, but you get excited in episode two and Ketian's episode when he meets Anatole towards the end, or yeah. something, you know, something like that. You could do that. Um, Effie should absolutely be left till last because I think realizing you're watching the character who was in the drawings from the first episode would be a big deal when she goes yeah. back to the yeah. house and you're like, oh shit, this is the moment. Um, cutting between them here, like you say, just kind of devalued all three of them. It made them all a bit, little, a little bit deflated. Um, it made it feel a bit generic in the sense that oh look all of this is going on together yeah and i don't think we we actually care about any of them individually enough yet to actually have this make give yeah. it the impact this is something you can do in halfway through your show sure halfway through yeah. the season once we know who they all are once we're investing in all the stories you can start doing the cutting around really quickly and have it ramping up oh definitely but in the first episode i think you just need to focus in a bit more yeah uh it doesn't need to focus i did like the opening scene um I mean, the, the actual interrogation part of the start was just kind of whatever. It's like, okay, what's going on? Who is this guy? Mm. But when he gets outside and there's like, a, there's like a, a, a tracking shot behind him walking towards this ambulance that's pulled up and he notices like red dripping down. And at first, like, is that blood? And he goes up and he wipes and he's like, no, that's, that's fresh paint. That red cross on that ambulance has only just been painted on. And then it just cuts to the explosion happening. It's like, oh, you just get it. You're like, oh, you, yeah, great, okay. 
that was, that was a that was just a van that was made up to be an ambulance so it could get into the hospital to to, to cause the explosion. Yeah. Um. So, no, I I think there's promising elements. There's, there's parts of the world and the lore that I think are interesting. I agree. Um. And some of the themes that it wants to play with are very interesting as well. Yeah. I, I just I'm not sure if the writing is up to scratch. My concern is that even after a few episodes, I won't care about any of the characters. That is my concern. Yeah, me too. I don't really care about them that much just now. And the the plot itself and the mystery isn't, at least right now, isn't exciting enough to make me stick around on its own. Hmm. Yeah. So we'll watch episode two. We'll we'll see. We'll see episode two is, but we won't be getting to that. It'll probably be Monday before that goes up, so you can look out for it then. Um, but we'll we'll have a look at episode two and see how it develops. But uh, yeah, but that that has been episode one of of nineteen eighty three. Uh, so yeah, uh, as always, uh, let us know what you thought of the episode in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that stuff. If you want to support the show and the channel, head over to patreon.com dot com slash tv and you can do that over there. But otherwise, that is us. So thank you very much once again for watching or listening. We always appreciate it. Keep watching TV, guys. Have you got any vanilla?